Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today I want to talk about some new vessels that just came out from 1617. Now if you've been paying attention to 1617's Instagram feed, you would have seen these a couple days ago and the moment they popped up on the Instagram feed, I immediately went to the website and bought these and then they went ahead and sent me the rest of the colors. So we're going to go through, I'm going to show you each of the colors, talk about them, talk about the fill weight and the wicks that you might need to use when filling these. if you're new to the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you can get alerts anytime I release a new video. And the vessels that we're going to be talking about today are the new basically rainbow prism. These things are actually really nice, uh, nice thick glass. They come in a bunch of different colors and I'll show you those. And of course, like I said, the moment they popped up on Instagram, I went to the website and I bought the black and the white, which I'm definitely going to be using. And then I went ahead and bought the blue and the rose, which actually looked really nice too. Definitely curious for the, the, for the blue. You know, I love Tiffany blue and and any type of blue in a vessel. And then the rose just looked really nice. Kind of a, uh, I wouldn't say fuchsia, but more of a pink color. That's actually really nice. So, so jumping over to the website, I'll go ahead and read some of the descriptions on these vessels. Uh, a vivid rainbow of playful colors. Our prism collection is alluring and brilliant, offered individually, but encouraged in sets. These beautiful translucent glass vessels boast clear lines, vibrant colors, and a heavy base to offer the perfect foundation for your hand poured candle. And they are absolutely right. The base on this one, I mean, that's gotta be a half inch before it even hits the bottom of the jar. Those things are really nice, definitely thick, very solid construction on those. Pull up one of the clear ones so you can actually see how far that goes up. And then the various colors in this one are all over the place. So they have the copper prism. They have the rose prism, which is definitely one of my favorites. They have the verdigris or verdigris, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that prism, which is a little bit more of a green. I bought this one because I thought it looked a little bit more Tiffany blue. I love this one. They have the lapis prism, which is a little bit darker blue like you can see. They have the violet prism. And of course, once I set these down, I'm gonna go through and pull the camera uh, away from the tripod and go across every single one of these colors so that you can see them a little, a little bit closer up. They have the citron prism. The full white, which is actually really nice. And the nice thing about the white and the black ones is you can't actually see through these. And of course the black one, which I absolutely love. So it kind of goes both ways with these. Uh, you, you have a couple vessels that you can't actually see through the white and the black. And then of course all the rest of the colors you can see through those. So that right there, any of these colors I think will look really nice once you actually start burning these and the flame gets down there. I think that's going to look really nice throwing some of that prism color uh, kind of across the walls. And then I'll go ahead and read the description on these. So these are recommended fill eight ounce. So it is an eight ounce vessel. The height is four inches. The diameter is 2.75 and, and the empty weight of the vessel itself is 13 ounces. And then of course I'm gonna do a bunch of different testing on these. I'll put a bunch of different waxes and a bunch of different wicks, but on their website, they recommend the CDN5 and the CDN6 with the waxes that they sell. And then of course, depending on the oil that you use, you may have to kind of wick up or wick down, and which means you're gonna go up a size or down a size depending on the burn. And I will say, if you can see it right there, the top of those vessels, they taper in just a little bit towards the top. So that's one thing that you wanna be concerned with when you're wicking. Uh, if you wick that towards the top, you might have a perfect melt pool right up to about the two thirds line. And then as it goes down and the flame gets further down in the glass, it's gonna heat up that glass a little bit more and you may end up with a much bigger melt pool through the bottom half of the candle than you thought you would have. So definitely pay attention to that. And you may have to go down a wick size with this one just to compensate for that potentially hotter top once it gets basically melted halfway through the candle. So with a vessel like this, I typically use probably an HTP 93. For this one, I might wick down to the HTP 83 just to get that extra melt pool protection down at the bottom of the glass. 
And because these are a nicer, thicker vessel, uh, the price on these is a little bit more than your basic jar. They run $4.50 per vessel, which actually isn't too bad because you can absolutely justify a higher price on a candle like this. And of course, as I say in all my videos, that's really dependent on the area and the demographic and kind of the style and the aesthetic that you're going after. So these are not a vessel that I would put basically on the same shelf or in the same line as my eight ounce jelly jar. That is meant to be a real quick and easy candle. This is supposed to be in the cheaper line or the cheaper price range for a candle. Whereas something like this, even for an eight ounce, I would absolutely price these in probably the 20 to $30 range. But that's pretty much it with this one. I just wanted to show these new vessels. I just got them in. And like I said, I did buy a couple cases myself and then they went ahead and sent me the rest of the colors so that I could show you guys. So if you like them, please let me know what you think of them in the comments down below and definitely jump over and follow them on Instagram. It's 1617.com. They have a ton of really nice vessels. And of course, I'll include links to all of these in the video description down below. And if you'd like to see me do any testing with these, please, again, let me know in the comments down below what wax you'd like to see in these, what wax and wick combo that you'd like to see with these. And I'm gonna spend the next week or two going through and testing a bunch of different waxes and wicks in these just to see how they burn and what's gonna be best to put in these. And of course, if you wanna follow me on any of the social media platforms that are out there, I have everything listed in the video description down below. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, my website, stanleyhandcrafted.com, where I sell a bunch of different products like eBooks, the picture stickers, and I just got these in. These are printed candle care cards. So uh, I send these out in every single candle that I send out. So they are four by six, basically postcards. And they have all the necessary information to kind of help protect your customers and let them know how to properly burn their candles. So, so if you want some printed candle cards, I do sell these on the website in packs of 50. And if you want to print them yourself, I do sell the templates on the website also. So if you want to go through, pick a color and print them yourself, they're on the website. And of course there is the text phone number if you want to sign up for any of the text alerts that I send out as far as like new waxes that are coming out, new vessels that came out, anything that comes out in any stock issues, I try to keep everybody up to date on those. So if you want to, so if you want to sign up for that, the number is 253-303-7968. And of course, hit the like button and thank you for watching.